Hey everybody, I am John Barker, and in this episode of Here to Record Show and Tell, we're taking a look at the ATEM Mini, the ATEM Mini Pro, and the ATEM Mini Pro ISO, in the hopes of helping you decide which one to get for your future needs. So let's take a look. It's been over a year now since the first ATEM Mini was released, and since then, plenty of people have bought one, and um, I can imagine you might be one that already owns one or two. Uh, I already own one of each. But um, maybe you want to buy another or maybe you're just venturing into this A10 Mini territory and you want to know which one to buy and for which reason. And hopefully in this video I can kind of shape you into deciding which one to take. The A10 Mini kicks things off with a small form factor switcher from Blackmagic Design. It had its limitations at the time, of course, but it was a perfect way to bring four HDMI sources, mix them together and then record that for later use on a HDMI output. Then came the A10 Mini Pro, which brought some really needed extras like the multi-view output that everyone wanted, recording and streaming built in, as well as a few more buttons than its uh, previous version. Which finally led to the A10 Mini Pro ISO, which was basically the same as the A10 Mini Pro, but it came with one big addition, which was the ability to record everything separately and record a edit file and then bring it all together in DaVinci Resolve and re-edit your show or your production or your videos. When it comes down to it, there's really three questions to ask yourself. Do I want a multi-view? Do I want to stream slash record? And do I want to edit my project later? And if you said no to all three of those, then the A10 Mini is the perfect device for you already. Um, if you said yes to kind of all three of those, then the A10 Mini Pro or the Mini Pro ISO will be the way you want to go. And that's a pretty fast way to answer the question. So I think it's best now to look at some use cases for each device, and maybe that will clear things up a little more. Use cases for the A10 Mini. Number one, I want the basic setup just to get me going. If this is your first venture into the video production industry, I think the A10 Mini by itself is a perfect way to start. It'll really get you the basics of video production and video switching. And use case number two, I already have a Pro or an ISO and I just need more inputs. So you already own one of the other switchers, which is great. A perfect way to get more inputs into those is to get the A10 Mini itself and then you can add four more inputs into your main production. It's a nice way to just add an extra camera that just sits at the back or maybe a laptop that you don't use that much. So if you've already got a Pro and an ISO, grabbing an A10 Mini is really nice to have for those extra inputs. Use cases for the A10 Mini Pro. I'm ready to go live. With the A10 Mini Pro, it's really easy to go live on YouTube, Twitch and Facebook and things like that. Since they're built into the streaming tab and just ready to go out of the box, you just need to connect a camera and you're ready to go live. Someday live events will come back and I want to be ready to record them. When the world's able to slip back into doing live events and things like that, it'd be really nice to have the A10 Mini Pro already in your hands and know how to use it. That way you can roll up to a live event of some sort with your cameras and record the program and live stream it all from a tiny little device. So knowing those basics and being able to use it will be really helpful in the future whenever events pop back up again. Use cases for the A10 Mini Pro ISO. I'm starting a YouTube channel. While it's great that the A10 Mini Pro ISO can stream to YouTube and things like that, it's also really nice to have a recording of each of your camera sources and being able to create that DaVinci Resolve edit file and jump in and edit things later. I've done that for or videos on this channel already where I've jumped in, made little tweaks and fixed some things and having that ability built into the switcher is really powerful. I want my A10 to do everything. Well, everything, of course, is a bit of a long shot. The other ATEMs in the range, as you step up, you can do more and more things with more and more inputs. But if you're looking at the ATEM Mini range and you want to do all of the features, then, of course, the ATEM Mini Pro ISO is the way to go. You can record stream and record all of your independent sources at the same time. So if you really just want to get all the way in there and try everything, then I think the ATEM Mini Pro ISO is totally worth the money. I hope you find that useful. If you're interested in buying any of the A10 Minis, please do use the affiliate links underneath the, um, underneath the video. It really helps out the channel. Otherwise, if you have any questions or comments or anything like that, let me know in the comments below. And thanks for watching. I'll see you again next time. Bye-bye.